Well, the Portland City Council now pushing ahead with a plan to move several problem properties into foreclosure. And that includes the well-known vacant mm -hmm. eyesore at Northeast 33rd and Broadway, formerly the Gordon's Fireplace Shops. You can see it from I-84. Elise Haas following up on her coverage from last night to the latest decisions in City Council today. So City Council agreed to continue just moving forward and taking those next steps to take this property into foreclosure. And that's the old Gordon's Fireplace Shop. So now it's moving to a second reading but this comes as the developer made a public attempt to ask them to reconsider so this property is vacant it has been for years citations of safety and nuisance issues date back to 2019 the current owners are out of state their address is in montana they've racked up twenty thousand dollars in unpaid liens meanwhile the developer that's trying to work with them says they originally intended to make this office spaces but during the pandemic they had to pivot to apartments. The developer testified today blaming a long, confusing permitting process for the state of the derelict property. And that process was painful. We were told it was going to be six months to get our permit. It took 14. It got caught up in issues around the city requiring that we provide a new signal at that intersection and redesign the infrastructure at the intersection, which is just highly unreasonable. The developer went on to say that he wants the city to help try and get the owner into compliance instead of foreclosure. However, the city pushed back, saying there were delays on both sides of the aisle, that it only took one year to get the permits approved, and now it's been more than two years since the permits were approved and the owners and the developers haven't started the housing or retail project, nor have they maintained the very basic safety and security standards. So bricks and broken glass are falling from the building. That really puts people at risk who are on the sidewalks and on the roads. The city also says that they have reports of squatters and encampments and then also at least two fires in the last couple of months at that at that property. Yeah, just a laundry list of problems. What are the next steps here? Okay, so next week, this is when city council will officially vote on these okay. derelict properties, including this one, mm -hmm. to take it into foreclosure. If they do take it, you know, a vote to take it into foreclosure, it will go to a foreclosure auction uh, hmm. later on this year at a later date. Hmm. The owners still do have some opportunity to reclaim that property, but the, ultimately what the city is trying to do at this point is incentivize the owners and developers to, of course, take care of those basic safety needs, but really mm -hmm. to redevelop the property and make it useful again, or else they're going to find somebody else who will. It, it's so awful to see when you're on I-84. I imagine people coming in from the airport maybe coming to Portland for the first time, and that's our right. welcome, that's to the, the welcome to Portland. That's the yes. thing. It's so visual. It is. That, yeah. you know. And the neighbors in the area, of course, too, you know, they're seeing that right oh, outside yeah. their doorstep every day. Yeah. All right, Elise. Good work. Thank you.